These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. So words that uh, a guy across the hall from me in college shared one day, a guy who's now a youth pastor and um, was kind of an inspiration to me, but really where this all started was just one day he comes into my room. I kind of helped this guy out with typing his uh, papers for his classes because he couldn't type worth anything. And I was able to do that for him. He'd pay me a little bit, so it's a nice way to get a little extra cash. And uh, I'd known this guy back in, back in high school. And man, in high school, he was kind of a mess, actually. He was uh, a guy that, you know, some people might have known he was uh, involved in things he shouldn't have been involved in. You know, the drugs, the party scene, that kind of thing. He never, never seemed to get in trouble, but uh, he was always on the verge, if not there. So I had known him back then, and then I knew him again in college, and I'm typing this paper for him as he's dictating it to me, and he's just different. I didn't know what in the world was going on, but the guy was just different. And uh, I asked him, man, what's happened to you? You don't seem even like the same guy that you were back in high school. And he said, it's because of Jesus. Honestly, that was really as simple as it gets. It's just because of Jesus and what he's done for me. And at that moment, I'm going, wow, I'd like to have that. The odd thing is, is I never was in that lifestyle. I was raised in a Christian home by Christian parents. It, this shouldn't have been an issue for me even, but for some reason it was. And I didn't feel like I had Jesus. Well, I'd been baptized. I had, you know, said all the right stuff and done supposedly the right things, but just doing all that doesn't mean you have Jesus. And so probably throughout much of my high school experience and even early on in college, I just I kind of felt lost. I was a, a wellness education major, and I hardly even knew what that meant. I took uh, anatomy and physiology class, hated it. Wasn't that it was difficult, I just didn't like it. And I didn't know what I wanted to do because at that point I'm like, I, I don't really want to be a math heavy type of occupation. A lot of things I didn't want to do, but nothing I could figure out that I did want. And so I'm this guy just kind of wandering around aimlessly somewhat. I'm at a Christian college, supposed to be having all this stuff figured out, and I'm just wandering around aimlessly, not sure what to do. And, that, and then this guy just comes in to my room, and I'm supposed to just type a paper for him, and he shares Jesus with me in the way I needed at that moment to hear it, to hear that it was okay, and to hear there was direction. And that text was there. That was exactly what he, what he shared with me. He just had prayer with me, wrote down John 16, 33 on a scrap of paper and left it right there in my room and left. That's all he did. I mean, no fireworks in the sky, no sermon, just a little text on a piece of paper. John 16, 33, in this world you'll have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. You know, that's what made all the difference for me. That's what led me into ministry. And I think it's what's led me to this particular testimony because I know there's people out there that don't have the party background. They don't have the bad stories that they came out of. They just had a normal life with normal stuff and even lived as Christians, but just feel a little lost, frankly. And that's okay because Jesus can give you a testimony too. I'm James and that's my testimony.